Hi everybody, so today this video is going to be a haul video and it is going to be of the original factory shop. Um, I've been in there once before, there's one quite local to me um, and I went in once before and I didn't think it was that great. Went in today and they've got so many good things in at the minute. Um, so I'll show you those and then I've got a couple of other things to show you as well. Um, but yeah, first of all, I got some new work shoes. Um, these are Airwalk and I really really like these, I think they're very nice. Here they are, just some really comfortable trainers for work. Um, they're mainly leather material and that's good because when I'm walking to and from my car um, it's sometimes raining so yes to have the leather means they're a nice sort of waterproof sort of trainer. So, yeah, there they are. Um, these were really cheap, they are £24, I believe. Yeah, £24. Um, which, you can tend to get Airwalk quite cheap, but I don't ever tend to see Airwalk that I like, but I really liked these. Um, and yeah, these are going to replace my, like, year and a half old, um, customised Nike um, Morgan Air Mids, I think they're called. But yeah, I've had them for ages and yeah, I just wanted some new work trainers. I also got another pair of trainers. I got these. Um, I'm such a fan of the Converse style of sneakers. And yeah, these were eight quid. So you can't go wrong for that price. They feel really comfortable, um, quite sturdy. They feel a bit heavier than actual Converse. Um, and they've got like canvas instead of the usual um, I don't know, it's like thicker canvas instead of the usual sort of thinner kind of thing. But yeah, I like those. Eight quid. Bargain. Um, I really went <laughs> over the top on shoes, um, but I also bought these. Um, I've never really um, been a fan of toe posts, but these just really liked and I thought I would give them a go and see how they worked out. These are by Intuition Collection and they're absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that front bit. I really like these. So yeah, I'm gonna give those a go and see how I get on. Um, I also got a Dexter book for £2 which I just thought was a bargain. Uh, it should be £7.99 so yeah. Then we move on to the cosmetics. Um, the cosmetics that they have in there at the minute is just amazing in my opinion. Um, so I don't know where to start. So I'll start with this. Okay, Katy Perry's um, Per Perfume. I've never actually had this. Um, I've wanted to try it for ages and five pounds. Um, it's only the 15 mil version, but it's good enough if you just want to test it out like I do. Um, I love Meow by Katy Perry, so I'm hoping that I like this one as well. And inside you get your Diddy little tiny um, Katy Perry Meow perfume. So let me have a quick little sniff. Ooh, that's very nice. Mm, yes, I like that. Um, so yeah, for a fiver, that is a complete bargain. So you could get 30ml for a tenner. I don't know if that's... A good price, but I thought a fiver for the little bitty one. I can just chuck this in my bag if I want to. So I got this. Now this is, uh, I don't know how you pronounce the name. Some people pronounce it Kate. I think it looks like Siate, Siate. I don't know, but it is a manicure set. I don't know if you're seeing the holograph. There you go. So yeah, this is one of the corrupted neon manicures and Let's have a look at this. This looks so interesting. Okay. <laughs> I got it because it's neon orange and neon orange is the colour of my favourite hockey team, which is the Steelers. So this is your sort of glitter top coat. This is your normal coat and then this is your UV coat, I believe. So these are like UV nails. They shine under UV light. So. Yeah, that's going to be quite interesting to try out. Um, this set was £5, which 
is pretty good. I can't wait to try that out. Then I got this. They have HD brows in the factory outlet. Um, this is a foundation and it is the shade 1, foundation 1, um, and this was a fiver as well. So, let's open it up. So it comes with the like cling filmic thing over the top, so yeah, you get your little applicator and then there is your product. I was careful not to get one that had got somebody's fingerprints in it, but yeah, it's like a powder foundation. So yeah, I really like that. That's uh, always a good thing to have. And it's HD brows, that's amazing. Okay, I'm currently missing something that I did actually buy. I bought another, I bought a Nicole nail polish for three quid and it didn't get put in my bag. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyway. Um, another thing that I have in there is Gemma Kid makeup. Um, it's three pounds each or it's two for a fiver, which I thought was pretty good. So. First of all, um, I got this. The best thing about these is the fact that they actually have light shades. Never usually have light shades in at discount places. Um, but yeah, this is Gemma Kid Makeup School Mineral Skin Nourishing Tint with SPF 20. And of course, this is shade one, which is porcelain. I think they were selling out of this, so I don't know how many they will have had. Um, but this is how it looks. And you get a pump see how it looks okay so that is it how it looks oh wow that is actually quite nice yeah I like that I like the fact that um, it's nourishing as well because at the minute I'm finding that my skin around my nose particular is um, quite dry so I'm struggling with that so hopefully we'll see I'll give that a go Feels really nice on the skin, I like that. Um, and to go along with that, they also have the Bio Mineral Perfecting Powder. Again, this is in shade 1, which is light. And wow, the packaging for these is so beautiful. That's how that one looks. And you get your little Gemma Kid applicator. And then there is your product. It's got a cover over it, so nobody's fingers have been in it. But that is the colour. So yeah, these are a bargain. Two for a fiver. And then I also got Define Staple Eyeliner. And this comes with a smudger brush on one end and then a black um, eyeliner pen on there. It's not the most pigmented in the world, but you can't complain. And then we also have the Lash Extension Volume Mascara. This is in shade 1, which is carbon black. Sorry if I'm looking outside, it's just started to rain. It's so warm at the minute, but it's chucking it now. Um, anyway, this is the packaging. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really, really coming down now. I don't like that. And... There's the wand, it's quite stubby, um, but I do tend to like ones like that because they really get the product into where you need it to go. So yeah, that is everything I got, apart from my nail polish, which hasn't made it into my bag. Um, other than that, um, I ordered these from America because you can't tend to get them in the UK. These are Impress um, Manicure. Not to be mistaken with the new Elegant Touch ones. Um, I've tried the Elegant Touch ones. The plain ones tend to stay on longer than the patterned ones. I don't know why that is, but the patterned ones last for about 12 hours. They just don't stay on my nails at all, but the plain ones, they stayed on my nails for about five days. I don't know, I followed all the instructions and everything, but yeah. Anyway, these ones do stay on for the seven days that they say packaging is almost identical to the Elegant Touch ones but I find that these don't move around on your nails as much. Um, with the Elegant Touch ones I find that the glue on them is a little bit too thick so that it's still a little bit squidgy so they move around on your nails as you're doing stuff. Um, but these ones they stay on and these ones are sort of an ombre kind of pink blue 
white kind of thing. They're nice anyway, and these are the um, Ultra Gel Shine versions, and this is the shade... Uh, Kiss and Tell, that's the one. So I got that. Um, I also got this from the um, Feel Unique Treats thing. Um, it's half price, it is Burberry Body. Am I showing you this the right way? There you go. Burberry Body, I've waited for this to come on some sort of sale for ages. Um, it smells really quite strong but quite nice and it is, looks like this, the bottle is amazing. Um, this is just all for show, this is the actual side of the perfume and yeah it's just really pretty. And finally I got these from America, um, these are New York Rangers Slapshot earphones which I haven't opened yet um, but that's how they look, they've got the New York Rangers logo on them and yeah. Can't wait to see how these go, if they're any good or not. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again very, very soon. Adios.